Right now, Wisconsin National Guard troops are getting special training to help support hospitals and nursing homes. We hear from Madison College on how it's going. Also, the prosecution looks to poke more holes in the claims Chandler Halderson made to his family. And more help in the fight against COVID-19 arrives in Dane County. Officials are planning to distribute their new supply of KN95 masks. That and more ahead on News 3 Now at 6. First, we're going to start with the weather where wind chills are going to be bitterly cold tomorrow. Let's check your certified most accurate forecast now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Eric, they're already cold out here tonight, and that's just because the wind is blowing, even though temperatures are still around 10 degrees. Now, let's start out by looking at the live view from the WIC Skycam in Madison. You can see skies are uh, mainly clear, but we do have an alert day in the forecast for tomorrow and tomorrow night. Low temperatures tomorrow morning down to around 3 below zero. Friday morning down to about 7 below zero. Wind chills tomorrow morning down to about 10 to 25 below zero. Probably not quite as bad Friday morning just because there'll be a little less wind. But even during the day tomorrow, wind chills will stay at or below zero with high temperatures in the single digits. Wind chill advisories in effect for Dane County and areas to the west from midnight through noon tomorrow. Temperatures right now are in the single digits with the exception of areas near the Illinois state line. Here in Madison, we've already dropped to eight, but wind chills are running around five to 15 below zero, and those numbers will continue to drop overnight. By morning, down to around three below zero in Madison, again with wind to 25 below, high temperature of only 9 tomorrow. As we warm up toward the weekend, we'll see some snow chances. I'll have more on that in just a few minutes. All right, Gary, thank you. There is valuable space in Wisconsin's skilled nursing facilities to relieve overwhelmed hospitals. But what's missing is the people, and that problem will soon have a temporary but much needed fix thanks to the men and women of the state who always answer the call. To Halil Muhadeen explains. Talil? This all came together fast, too. The state reached out to Madison College to help training the National Guard troops as nurses in December. Just a few meetings later, training is up and running. Sergeant Andrew Hamiden is taking on a special assignment. Uh, I haven't done anything quite like this. Trading in his Army uniform for black scrubs. I feel proud being able to step in. At Madison College, he and roughly 80 other trainees from the Wisconsin National Guard are training to become certified nursing assistants. The National Guard stands by, um, ready to assist the state in whatever it may need. The goal is to help hospitals and long-term care centers with staffing shortages fast. How? They're completing a training course that typically takes weeks in just 10 days. The pace is a little bit more intense, but we're all ready to take that on and push through it. Madison College's Associate Dean of Nursing, Dr. Lisa Marie Greenwood, says that she's confident Guard members are up to the task. They are very diligent. They are dedicated to the work and the mission that they have in front of them. Um, they're embracing the curriculum with enthusiasm and very highly engaged. She says it's a curriculum Madison College is well positioned to teach. Oh, you're close. It's actually 97.6 to 99.6, okay? We can welcome in a large number of guards members at one time and deploy um, you know, a mass training effort. Their skills Sergeant Hamiden plans to use soon to save lives, but ones the aspiring nurse could use for a lifetime. Honestly, I think that I couldn't have asked for a better learning environment, really, and like a better staff to help teach us. This round of trainees will be ready for deployment at facilities across the state by the end of the week. So far, about 50 Guard members trained in December at another facility have been deployed to six nursing homes in Wisconsin. Talil, thank you. We also spoke with the CEO of Leading Age Wisconsin to hear his thoughts on the National Guard being trained. Here's what he had to say. Is this the, uh, the ideal situation? Uh, no, it's not, but we are thankful and the hospitals are thankful for the presence of the National Guard because but for the uh, availability of the guard, uh, people would still be in the hospital who don't need to be there. And, and uh, that's creating a bottleneck so that people who really need- As Howard said, he plans to use the National Guard members for 60 to 90 days at his facilities and hopes the Omicron surge will subside after that. Prosecutors are moving closer to wrapping up their case in the Chandler Halderson trial, but not before trying to further establish motive in the case. Today, they laid out the allegations of an elaborate ruse that Chandler Halderson used so he could get his parents to think he was attending Madison College and also trying to land a job. That included fake email accounts at Chandler allegedly made up to communicate with his parents about his college status and other emails he used from people who didn't exist to deceive his parents into thinking he was working and looking for jobs at high high profile employers detectives closely examined the electronic trail he left behind 
What types of messages were you looking for uh, when looking at Chandler Halverson at gmail.com? What were you trying to figure out? Um, any communication um, with anyone from Madison College, um, anything related to his employment, either at SpaceX or American Family, um, any communications um, with his parents. Um. Now, eventually, Bart Halderson, the father, grew suspicious and called Madison College directly, frustrated in his attempts to get transcripts and certificates he believed Chandler had completed. Madison College officials said he had basically withdrawn from classes and had failed others. There was also testimony about cell phone use where it appears Chandler may have texted from his mother's phone to make it appear she was texting him to say she had arrived safely at a cabin at White Lake when, in fact, it came from the Halderson home. The case resumes tomorrow. The prosecution could soon rest its case. If you want to get caught up, we have a dedicated page to this trial at channel3000.com. There you can watch a live stream of the trial and find day-by-day -day breakdowns of what's happened so far. We also have a full timeline of events from the case leading up to the trial. Again, you can find all of it at channel3000.com. Last week, Dane County announced the purchase of nearly 100,000 KN95 masks. Today, those masks arrived. County Executive Joe Parisi said the masks will be distributed throughout the county to fight against the recent Omicron surge. The Department of Emergency Management and Human Services is working with Public Health Madison in Dane County and other organizations to get the face coverings to those who need them. What we really need people to do is, you know, upgrade their masks, be super careful for the next couple of weeks as we ride out this wave, and we'll get through this together. But we just want to make sure that everyone possible has access to the best quality masks possible. Officials said the masks will be given out in a similar way to how the county distributed masks at the start of the pandemic. And the COVID-19 testing clinic at Alliant Energy Center is once again expanding operations, now adding weekend appointments. Public Health Madison and Dane County say that beginning Monday, the site will be open for testing seven days per week. The site quickly surpassed its initial goal of 500 to 750 tests daily during the first week, hitting 1,000 daily tests within a matter of days. Now to a developing story from a few hours ago, the person found dead in a car in Cambridge this week likely was killed in Milwaukee. A Milwaukee County autopsy shows the victim was a 34-year-old man from Kokana and died in a homicide that Milwaukee police are investigating. Dane County deputies responded to Main Street in Cambridge Monday night. A woman had been asking people for money and a ride. She pulled out a gun when deputies approached her. They eventually arrested the 28-year-old woman. The victim's body was in the back seat of the woman's car in the Piggly Wiggly parking lot. She has not yet been charged, so we are not identifying her or the victim at this time. The sheriff says charges related to the death will be filed again in Milwaukee County. Fitchburg police say a Capital Petro gas station was robbed by a man with a handgun last night, held up just after 8 p.m. According to witnesses, a male entered the store and held a handgun up to the cashier. He stole money and merchandise before getting away in a white SUV. The cashier was unharmed. If you have any information about this case, you're asked to contact Fitchburg Police. Janesville Police say they've arrested a man for allegedly sexually assaulting a child, all thanks to a tip from Connecticut. Officials say they received a tip from police there that a missing girl was in the Janesville area with a 21-year-old man. Man. Officers were able to track down the suspect and the girl to a hotel. The suspect was arrested and faces second-degree sexual assault of a child and child enticement charges. It's being held at the Rock County Jail. The girl has now been reunited with her mother. A 70-year-old Platteville man hospitalized after a crash. This happened in Keeler yesterday. Grant County Sheriff's officials say it happened at the intersection of County Highways H and Triple H just after 10:15 in the morning. And according to officials, a 28-year-old woman entered the intersection and struck the man's truck. The woman uninjured while that crash remains under investigation. Vice President Kamala Harris plans to visit Milwaukee on Monday, her second trip to Wisconsin since taking office a year ago. The White House says the Vice President will be joined by EPA Administrator Michael Regan and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff for this visit. More details on the visit will be given at a later time. Last May, Harris toured clean energy laboratories on the UW-Milwaukee campus and touted President Biden's infrastructure plan during her first visit to Wisconsin since taking office. Office. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is weighing in on which map they should pick to set political boundaries for the next decade. The day-long hearing showcased arguments from attorneys representing Governor Tony Evers, the Republican-controlled legislature, Democratic lawmakers, and other interest groups. The court was expected to issue a final decision within weeks to set the maps in time for candidates running for office this fall. 
There is also a federal lawsuit pending brought by Democrats that could be taken up after the Supreme Court issues its decision. Coming up, how a new rule from the U.S. government could help with the current trucking shortage, of truckers that is. Plus, we take a tour of SSM Health's brand new clinic when it's scheduled to open. What kind of services it'll offer? That's just ahead. Watching Madison's fastest growing newscast, News 3 Now at 6. How much money have you wasted trying to find the right shade of foundation to match your skin tone? You end up with so many unused bottles, yet you can't bear to throw them out. Now, there's Color of Beauty self-adjusting foundation, which means you'll never search for the perfect shade again. It's really difficult for me to find a good tone foundation. I usually purchase about three or four and sometimes mix them. Color Beauty is a game changer in finding the right foundation. You put it on your skin and it transforms into your your own skin tone. The Color Beauty Foundation is so simple to put on. My skin looks great and it just looks awesome. The key to the innovative Color Beauty formula is tiny color beads that release and blend to perfectly match your skin tone as you apply it. The foundation is white when it comes out of the bottle, but when I begin to apply it, it adjusts to blend perfectly with the color of my skin. My biggest problem area is my cheeks right here. Color Beauty feels really light on my skin and I can tell that it is pretty full coverage so it looks like I don't have too much foundation on but it is covering all my acne scars like I was saying before. I actually really love it. It's weightless and it's full coverage and also it literally just matches my skin as soon as I put it on. It's no work. I've never experienced a foundation like this. Color Beauty only comes in two colors, light and medium. If you have fair skin or you burn easily, go with the light. If you have darker skin, go with the medium. Plus, with an SPF of 50, they're getting the highest level of sun protection in a lightweight formula. And best of all is Color Beauty's exclusive special. Order this New Year's and get 40% off. That means you'll get the color adjusting foundation, the skin smoothing primer, and the fan favorite lash enhancer for thicker, longer looking lashes at 40% off. Plus, get free shipping. Visit color40.com or call the number on your screen. Welcome back. SSM Health says its brand new state-of-the-art clinic is on track to complete construction and open for its first day on February 21st. Located along Fish Hatchery Road, the five-story, $75 million project was first announced in 2017. It broke ground in July of 2020. It'll include primary care services like pediatrics and family medicine, support services like physical therapy, pharmacy, and laboratory services, and it'll also feature specialty health services like cancer care and orthopedics. Well, our current uh, site is over 60 years old. So it was very important to invest in a newer building that's accessible, that's fresh, and has uh, the right services that our patients need. Well, he says the construction was a collaborative process between SSM staff as well as patients. The U.S. government attempting to help ease the trucker shortage. A new federal apprenticeship will allow 18-year-olds to drive semis across state lines. 49 states in Washington, D.C. give commercial driver's licenses to those under 21, but they can only drive big rigs within their own state. This new program will take those young drivers and train them on interstate trucks. Apprentices must have a state-issued commercial driver's license with a clean record. During training, they'll be under the direct supervision of an experienced driver. A longtime songwriter and Packer fan releasing another anthem for the green and gold. Coming up, we'll take a listen to the new song. Now he says Aaron Rodgers helped inspire him while writing it. Plus, some bitterly cold wind heading our way tomorrow. Gary will break it all down. Your complete forecast after the break. It's here, Wisconsin. Ashley Home Store's Mega Mattress Clearance Event is on now. Millions of dollars worth of in-stock clearance, floor samples, and overstock mattresses must be sold. Line up for savings up to 85% off while it lasts. Plus, no interest financing for five years. Only at Ashley Home Store. Menards has what you need to keep your home safe. From smoke and carbon monoxide alarms to fire extinguishers, Kitta Home Safety Products keep your family protected from emergencies. Grab a general-use fire extinguisher. It lasts up to 12 years and it adds an extra measure to protect you and your family at home. Save big money on Kidda Home Safety Products right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Go 
Alvin Cars is having a huge winter sale with the largest selection of vehicles under $15,995 or $249 per month. That's right, don't miss out on our winter sale with the best selection of SUVs, cars, or vans under $15,995 or $249 per month. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in Dane County with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just come on in and ask for me, Crystal the Pistol, Govin. Go to Govin Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com Winter in Wisconsin means snow, blustering winds, and sub-zero temperatures. Will your insulation keep your home warm? Fry Construction can always help. We're your roofing and insulation pros. We'll find cracks and air pathways in your insulation that are letting in the icy cold and hindering your comfort. With our thermal imaging and our cutting-edge insulation techniques, you'll be sure that your home will be warm and energy efficient for many years to come. Visit FryConstruction.com today and prepare your home for the long winter. I'm a little old to count down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still <laughs> ski free. But Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. It's here, Wisconsin. Ashley Home Store's Mega Clearance Event is on now. Millions of dollars worth of in-stock clearance, floor sample, and special purchase furniture and mattresses must be sold. This is your chance to save as much as 85% off while it lasts. Plus, no interest financing for three years store-wide. Only at Ashley Home Store. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. And welcome back. A little rhythm, a little blues, and a lot of positivity leading up to Saturday's playoff game at Lambeau Field. Now a longtime Packers fan hopes he has written the anthem to serenade the team to victory. Michelle McCormick has more. Green Bay Partey, our Green Bay Cosmos has no limits. Longtime Packers fans probably recognize that voice. The man who brought us the legendary I Love My Green Bay Packers, Boca, is out with a new song. It's called The World of Green and Gold and takes metaphysical inspiration from quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Green Bay, party. I think Aaron Rodgers is a surfing the, uh, the collective mind really, you know, masterfully this year. And I think it could take us right to winning the Super Bowl again. We live this world of green and gold. We're gifted gold. The song traces the team's history and mentions all the legends of the game. One thing you won't hear is violent lyrics or references to crushing the opponents. Lemberger says the song is about positivity. Green Bay Cosmos has no affirmative thing trying to help galvanize uh, the mental aspect of the game so that we can win the Super Bowl again this year. We live this world of green and gold. Lemberger says he doesn't write the music for the money, although that would be nice. He just likes to see people coming together and singing along. And if that song didn't blow you away, tomorrow's wind just might. Let's check back in with Gary with a complete forecast. Gary? The winds won't be terribly strong, but it'll be the cold temperatures combined with the wind that will really make it feel cold. Uh, three things you need to know in the forecast. Bitterly cold weather for tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night as well. But with dry weather and sunny skies on Friday, temperatures at least will be back into the middle teens with less wind. And then as we head into Saturday, we'll see some uh, light snow or snow showers, but temperatures should be at least for one day into the 20s. Now, we have an alert day in the forecast for tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. Low temperatures tonight around 3 below zero. Lows tomorrow night about 7 below zero. So a little colder tomorrow night, but the winds will be a little more brisk tonight. So that'll put wind chills down to about 25 below zero uh, by morning and high temperatures tomorrow. Only in the single digits above zero and there'll be enough of a breeze to keep those wind chills at or below zero. If you take a look at the wind chill chart, this is kind of where we fall in the uh, category here between about 15 and 25 below zero with temperatures between zero and five below and winds in the 10 to 15 mile per hour range. This color here indicates the potential for frostbite and in about 30 minutes to expose skin. When you start getting those temperatures below about 35 below zero, then you start talking about frostbite in about 10 minutes. That's where wind chill warnings are in effect. But right now, wind chill advisories for Dane County areas to the west, there are wind chill warnings 
for those bitterly cold and dangerously cold wind chills across much of North Dakota and western Minnesota and parts of South Dakota. Temperatures right now, single digits across most of Wisconsin, but already below zero in western Minnesota and the eastern Dakotas. You factor in the winds and we're seeing wind chills now down to about 25 to 35 below zero over western Minnesota. Our wind chills are right around 10 below zero, but those will continue to drop overnight. What's kind of interesting is over the next 48 hours, like I say, temperatures will be a little bit colder tomorrow night than they'll be tonight. But notice the wind chills colder tonight than they will be tomorrow night just because of having a little more wind. Current temperatures are in the single digits above and below zero through much of the northern and central part of the Midwest. The cold air now starting to head south of the Ohio River where rain is starting to change to snow. There are winter weather advisories in effect for much of Kentucky and the areas right along the Ohio River. You can see that transition from rain to snow just to the south of St. Louis. Our upper level winds from in the northwest, actually out of central Canada. So that's really bringing the cold air down and that'll be with us for about a day and a half before things start to, to rebound. The center of the cold air mass right there, that high pressure system just north of the U.S. Canadian border and that's kind of pushing all the cold air south. Notice on future track tonight, the sky is clearing out overnight. That also will help the, the heat escape, especially over the uh, snow covered ground. But tomorrow we'll have bright sunshine. Unfortunately, those winds out of the northwest will keep those temperatures very cold. Then tomorrow night, another bitterly cold night, but the high pressure system almost right over us. The winds will be light and then on Friday, those winds start to come in out of the south and that will start to at least warm us up a little bit for Friday. On Saturday, here comes those snow showers and flurries from the northwest and that will have temperatures perhaps at least into the lower 20s. Wind chill advisories in effect for Dane County and areas to the west through uh, from midnight tonight through noon tomorrow. Look for a low tonight of three below zero with wind chills down to 25 below zero tomorrow. Sunny skies, but bitterly cold. High temperature at night and wind chills at or below zero through the day. Seven to 10 day forecast up to 15 Friday, 23 Saturday with those snow showers. Sunday, we start turning colder again. Some snow showers Monday, bitterly cold for Tuesday, maybe as cold as uh, tomorrow morning, but then notice those temperatures rebounding. Some hope on the way for the second half of next week. All right, Gary, if you go into the Bucks game tonight, make sure to wear your jersey inside out. That's because it's inside out night. It's a theme created by a group of students from Beloit Memorial High School. Jaheim Harrell, Paul Allen, Griffin Obernator, and Ryan Mechanic. They won a Milwaukee Bucks theme night competition. They say this theme is meant to raise awareness on concerns about mental health. Well done. And we're one day closer to game day. The green and gold know what they need to do on Saturday against the 49ers. And coming up in sports, we're going to get to hear from them as they prep for the divisional round. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. From defunding the police to not prosecuting criminals, Democrat policies are disastrous for America. When I ran in 2016, I intended to serve a second term and go home. But today, our nation is on a very dangerous path. If you could help make America safer and stronger, would you walk away? I've decided I can't. I'll stand and fight for freedom. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message, because I love America and Wisconsin, just like you. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we're your hardware headquarters. Your one-stop shop for quality name brand tools, welding supplies, and accessories, all at great low prices. Right now, get $30 off this Milwaukee two-tool combo kit. Nearly half off this 74-piece Milwaukee Impact bid set, just $21.99. A 25-piece Craftsman screwdriver set is only $29.99. And DeWalt Digital Hearing Protection, just $42.99. 
McGann Furniture in Baraboo, we know that hardworking people want the most value for their money. When you shop at McGann, we've already sorted out and selected the brands that we feel offer you the most bang for your buck. From young couples just starting out to senior citizens, we offer a huge selection at prices that will fit your budget. Plus, most purchases include free delivery and setup. And remember, at McGann, we don't raise our prices only to lower them later for a sale. Discover the difference at McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo. This guy bleeds green and gold, and now it could earn him a spot in the Packer Fan Hall of Fame. Josh Breider tells you how you could help make it happen. And we have an alert day in the forecast for our Thursday. I'll have details tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7.00. It's a storied history between the Packers and 49ers, especially in the playoffs. Now, this Saturday will be the ninth postseason meeting, and the all-time series stands. It's split four and four. And three of the Packers' losses are the last three playoff meetings, 2012, 2013, and the most recent, the 2019 NFC Championship game. But the Packers are controlling the narrative heading into this divisional matchup. Number one seed at home, coming off a bye, plus winning the last two regular season meetings make each possession count and you know don't don't come out flat like what we have in you know some playoff games against them in the past you gotta you gotta come out firing um you gotta kind of throw everything you got at them not not hold anything back and you know we know what type of team they are but you know we've won the last two and we we've, we kind of have a good pretty good rhythm with that so as long as we come they ain't gonna just lay down and let us win the third in a row and an injury update. Randall Cobb is expected to play on Saturday. Matt LaFleur saying earlier that he's looking good at practice and anticipates him being out there. An added bonus for the team since their games with the 49ers are usually tight and physical. It goes both ways for both teams. And ultimately, we got, we got to go out there. We got to play our best ball. This is just a, a very well-coached team, a very tough and physical team. And, I mean, they're, they're explosive in, in every phase of the game. So it's going to be so important for us just to be able to go out there and, and everybody playing their role and, and doing the best job possible. The Wisconsin women's hockey team has one loss this season. It was on December 3rd, and it came at the hands of their biggest rival. That doesn't sit well with the Badgers, and neither does the result of the second game against the Gophers. Minnesota came into Laban and left with a win and a tie. They scored five goals in two games. So you could say Kennedy Blair is excited to prove her performance against the Gophers was a fluke. I think there's a motivation thing. I mean, last, you're always going to have one bad series and I think that was my bad series this year and um, I just kind of like want to have a little revenge over it. I know I came in and made a few mistakes here and there and um, yeah, this, this I'm definitely looking forward just to have the revenge on them and hopefully get two wins. And Wisconsin Wrestling made a statement this weekend. They downed Minnesota for the first time in over 10 years. Well, playing a huge part in that win was Garrett Model. With the biggest upset on Sunday, Model beat fourth-ranked Brayton Lee by decision. That win earns Model both the Big Ten, Ten and USA Wrestler of the Week award. The Badgers are home this Friday. They're going to host Nebraska. Gary? The skies are clear out there, and it looks pretty, the view from the Edgewater Sky Camp, but it's just cold out there. Temperature is already down in the single digits through much of southern Wisconsin away from the Illinois state line. You factor in the winds, and we're seeing wind chills now down to anywhere between about 5 and 15 below zero, and those temperatures will continue to drop. Wind chill advisory in effect for Dane County and areas to the west from midnight tonight through noon tomorrow. Look for a low of 3 below zero. Wind chills down to 25 below zero by morning. High 9. Wind chills staying below zero through the day. Bitterly cold on Friday morning with a low of 7 below zero with a high of 15 Friday. Some light snow Saturday and then Monday. Temperatures cold the start of next week, but warming back up to near normal by the end of next week. All right, Gary, thank you. Thank you for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Stay warm out there and we will be back here tonight for News 3 Now at 10.